For thousands of years, humans have been fascinated with the night sky. But for most of that time, the only real way we've had to learn about it is through the electromagnetic spectrum. You know, visible light, microwaves, UV radiation. But there is another way. Seeing with our eyes closed. Hearing the universe. Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time created by accelerating masses. To better understand this idea, imagine that the trampoline is space-time. Our space-time trampoline is warped by masses. This effect is gravity. The greater the mass, the larger the depression. When the mass accelerates, symbolized here by her jumping, gravitational waves are produced. Pretty cool, right? Gravitational waves stretch and squeeze every object they pass through, including you, but you can't feel the change because it is so small. But if you can't see gravitational waves, and if you can't feel gravitational waves, how do you know they're there? Through science and engineering, of course, and a sensor called LIGO, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. This cylinder creates a laser beam which is split by the first mirror, travels 4 kilometers, and is reflected back off the second set of mirrors. They come back to the first mirror and recombine to hit the sensor. When a gravitational wave passes, one arm is stretched and one arm is compressed so that the time it takes for one of the light beams to hit the sensor is decreased. This causes them to no longer destructively interfere so they light up the sensor. Now that you understand how they work, let's talk about the different types. Continuous gravitational waves are caused by an imbalanced neutron star. They are continuous because they occur constantly in a repeatable pattern determined by the star's shape. The gravitational wave is consistent in frequency and amplitude. A compact binary in spiral gravitational wave consists of two supermassive objects that are spiraling inward. These could be two neutron stars, two black holes, or even one of each. The two objects lose energy, move closer, orbit faster, and lose more energy as they ultimately combine, releasing massive amounts of energy in the form of a gravitational wave. Stochastic gravitational waves are remnants of the chaotic cosmic events from the instance after the Big Bang. Deciphering their static echoes can help scientists better understand the birth of our universe. First gravitational waves are the enigma of gravitational waves. They're the ones we were never expecting to detect, and they could tell us about systems we've never known. Detecting gravitational waves is important because they give us insight into the most energetic events in the universe, including black holes, and they help us know about their mass and behavior. In the future, they could even help us understand what happened during the Big Bang.